open sesame. Let's open up the box. Let's see how the convertible has fared over the... Always a lot of stuff going on. I promise you guys, we're not forgetting about Mr. Jones. But I just, you know, only have one set of hands and there's only so many hours in the day, like I've said. So we've given my car a bunch of attention. What we're going to do now, because it's a beautiful spring day, I'm going to pull the trailer up and pull out the convertible. Check fluids, get that running, make sure we're in good shape. I want to be able to get that out of the trailer whenever I want. I don't imagine there's an issue. We took it for a nice fall ride and all went well. It got put away. Totally functional. There it is. What a cool, what a cool, cool car. All right, gotta check some fluids, we'll roll it out, fire it up, and then do a little bit of clean out inside the trailer, I think, today. For those of you who watch our videos and who pay attention to what I did last year, How much transmission fluid is in that pan? I don't see any. That's another very good sign. Wow, I didn't even hit the gas yet. Good. just too aggressive it still has the original heat stove on the intake that thermostatic spring and it's just you know there's three detents in the carburetor where you can set it i thought i have it in the middle i might have to relax it or even bend that rod or quite honestly you heard the thing almost wanting to kick over without me even touching the gas pedal like it's fuel injected so that's all well and good and it sounds good and it went right into reverse and the brakes work and i think we'll let it warm up check some fluids and then we will take it for a ride I do a little bit of flash rust on the drums but it's cool man it's cool this is what got this car now obviously my car is my car but this is the car that got people saying that you know I'm saving stuff that shouldn't be saved so it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to do it. You know, I think we have a thousand miles on this car since we put it together. And they said it couldn't be done. There it is. All right, let's check stuff over. Just sent a picture of this scene. Joe and Big J. And John always has these very poignant little phrases. And his response was, pinch yourselves, boys. And he's not kidding. This is a this is a great privilege. This is nothing that any of us in this hobby should take lightly. It really isn't. You know, if you work hard and you put your mind to it and you put your ducks in a row, as they say, you can pull this stuff off. It's not given to you. I am here to tell you, none of this is a gimme. It just isn't. This is not a million dollar car collection. But what we're looking at here are three Lansing built 1969 Oldsmobiles, two of which are W31s. This car and my car are days apart. Sometimes I just want to sit back here and look. It's cool. It's pretty cool. So sometimes when you're in your own garage, look around at what you have. Don't stress too much about what you don't. 
Because even a year ago, we didn't have a body on a rotisserie that had no rot in the shell. Didn't have it. And four years ago, that car over there, let me back up over here. April 27th of 19 is what that car looked like the day we brought it home. It takes a minute to get there. It takes 35 plus years of having a car like this. This is 900 hours. Three years and 900 hours. Cool. Just bringing you guys along for a little reflection here because of Big J's text. Paint yourselves, boys. Because it can be, it can be considered a dream for some. All right, let's see if we can't pull this thing out, take it for a little cruise and get to work on the trailer. Let's fire it up after the oil change and listen to the, listen to the cam. Drive time. 